Hello and welcome back to another FS19 map tour, new map reveal. Today we're taking a look at Grower's Farm uh, by MJ Modding. He modded the map, thanks very much uh, MJ. And uh, the map, all the buildings are static. Let's just talk a bit about the map. All FS19 features. Animals are built into the map. 59 fields, variety of grass and arable. Three farms, four yards, a BGA sh shop, the shop, one grain cell point. Obviously you've got your, your wool and your sawmill on there as well. A season's ready. That doesn't say anything about precision farming, so you might be able to run it with precision farming on. But um, all the sign in the description is season's ready. The sleep trigger point is actually in the farmhouse upstairs in the bedroom. Um, I discovered that the map was quite high, yes, 860 on slots for console. But I sold all the machines. If you sell all the machines, you can get the slots down to 680. And then obviously you can start your own your own uh, farm how you like with your own machinery. But anyway, let's take a let's take a look round the farmyard. As you can see it's a well detailed map. Very nice indeed, compact little farmyard. I'll try to see if I can find a workshop anywhere. But before we have a good look round here, we'll have a look and see. We'll have a look and see what, uh, we'll look at those cell points first. That I saw your general crops. Um, that's not multi fruit. The silos, the farm silos hold two hundred and thousand liters, and you've got a barn for a sale point for your, obviously for your straw, your straw uh, silage. Hi. And uh, let's say you've got one cell point growers grains. You've also got a sawmill and a spinnery for your wool. So um, yeah, only one cell point on the for grains on the map, which is a bit of a shame, but it's no big issue. Um, while we're there, let's have a look at the uh, look at it on the PDA map. What it's all about. So if we zoom out, that's a fully uh, two times map by the looks of it. Um, like I say, 59 fields, three farms, four yards. The map has got uh, pigs, sheep, horses, cows, and chickens. It looks like we start off with field 7 and field 6, which are grass fields. We don't own any other field on the map. But let's take a look around the farm. The fields are sort of small, medium and largest fields. But here you've got a... Uh, your chaff where you make your silage you've got one here you've also got another one over here I couldn't find a bunker for your manure to go into
I couldn't get this to work. I couldn't make out because you've got the yellow markings on the ground. I couldn't make out what this was for. There's some kind of drain there. I couldn't get a trigger or anything to come up. I've noticed with some of the doors, that's like you are opening gates. That's like gates opening there. But that's no big issue. Um, here we have got the... I heard water and I thought there ain't no water or anything around, but there is. You've got running water into that, uh, that water trough there. Now here we have the sheep. We'll just see if you can buy sheep and that works okay. Yes, that looks like it's working. We've got the sheep over here. There is your uh, water trough, and there is your feeding trough for the sheep. Out on the on the pasture on the meadow. So what's your shape? Over here you have your your own grain storage, which like I say holds um Did we say two hundred thousand? Yep, two hundred thousand. So there they are. This is, uh, I've tried this out and it actually works. The total mix ration you drive in this area for your total mix ration for the cowers. And then your dialogue for the cows is here. I just bought four. Obviously, that's your slurry. Must be your slurry uh, collection point because there's a trigger there. Where you collect your milk from from the cows is in this area here. You can see your milk churns on the left hand side there and the right hand side. Your straw, when you want to put straw in them, I tried that out as well. Your straw pots here, if you back into here or draw you through, you'll have a trigger come up for your straw. Um, I couldn't see anywhere, I couldn't see a, a bunk or of no description about here anywhere where uh, the manure spawns to from the cowers. So I take it you've probably got to buy yourself a little, a small trailer and actually clean the animals out yourself. Come into the building here and clean them out. I think the building has lights. Yep, the building has lights what work. So that's good. But before we move on, we'll just check here. I can't find a... I can't find a workshop. The little door's open as well, which is cool. Nice, lovely buildings. Got a lot of height in them as well for tipping trailers and stuff. I take it the lights work in the buildings. Yep, the lights are working. 
We'll have a look around and see if we can find her. I should thought there must be a workshop on the farm somewhere. Nothing in here, is there? No. Because normally you have a workshop at the farm. It's nice how all the doors open. But I can't find a workshop anywhere. Not this is in here. Just a shed. Let's have a look, this weren't a workshop, was it? So like metal gates. Nope, that weren't a workshop either. Another storage shed. So I can't find a workshop on here. I reckon this possibly could be the workshop. Let's hope so. Ah, yeah, this is the workshop. Here's your workshop, everybody. That's good, we found it. So yes, you have got a workshop. But before we leave this farm and have a look around different areas, we'll just have a look and see what you get in game. Like I say, with all the machinery, it's 860 slots on console, and we have nearly 1,300 of the slots available. So it's quite heavy on the slots. But like I so say, if you, if you sell the machines, you'll bring it right down to 680, the slot count. But we start off with uh, basic sort of in-game stuff of Ultra. Um, 165 horsepower. A Fent Favourite, 115 horsepower. A John Deere M, 142 horsepower. The TX32, New Holland Combine, that's 160 horsepower. Um, the Lizard Pickup Truck, 300 horsepower. A trailer, 21,000 litres, an agroliner. The obviously the TX32 combined header harvester, 4 metres. A, uh, a, a Salford, Salford um, plow requires 85 horsepower, 2 metres wide. And then we have uh, an Amazon Catros. Um, that requires that's six meters. That require 180 horsepower. A cedar, Amazon, three meters wide requires 85 horsepower. A coon, a coon drum mower, 4.3 meters. A six meter, uh, tedra, and a 9.3 meters. Uh, wind rower requires 75 horsepower and then a baler the roll belt 150 um, round baler New Holland that only requires 70 horsepower and then you've got the you've got the trailed lion duo 1814 silo king that holds uh, 16,000 litres and then you've got your water tanker which holds 7,300 litres and then your basic your basic uh, stall 
um, front end loader with a with a bio spike fork and, and a front weight. So that's all your starting equipment. And like I say, you own uh, two grass two grass fields. Yeah, two grass fields, field six and seven. Um, let's have a look at the fields just before we go off here. Yeah, let's have a look and see. Do you have to do you have to buy them in a block or can you buy them singly? Um, yeah, it looked like you buy them in blocks. Some of them you can buy singly. Yep, some areas you can buy singly. Some buy them in pairs. You can buy them in pairs or singly, or there's three there for sale. Um, so let's have a look at that big block up there. You're talking about uh, quite expensive. You're talking about 822. You're talking about 822 where? Uh, for that one, which is quite a lot. And then let's have a look at a smaller one, which would be we'd call a real small one on the map. Probably field 55, but that includes 54, so that's 328,000. Um, I don't know if we can get a small individual one. Field 19, field 19, 110,000 for that little tiny field, so it's quite expensive. The fields on here. Um, where is the biogas plant? Do we already own the biogas plant on the map, or have we got to buy it? Yeah, we have to buy the biogas plant. Um, 58, well, nearly 59,000. So that's not too bad. But like I say, the only area we own is down this area here. That's what we own. Which, if you wanted to sell it, you'd get 216,000. 200. You'd get just over 400,000 if you was to sell a lot. So, field prices are quite high. But uh, we'll have a look at the shop. We'll go up to the shop. We'll have a look there. Oh yeah, you're already you can buy the boundary, but that's enough on the boundaries. Uh, let's hit, let's go up to the shop and have a look. No, one thing I noticed about the shop was um, it's a New Holland agriculture agricultural uh, agriculture dealer, but the sign outside uh, says John Deere. Which I find a little bit strange. You've got a John Deere sign up um, at the shop is a New Holland dealer. So um, that one was a bit, that mystified me a bit, that one. But let's go up. Uh, we don't have a look at the animal dealers. That's just your basic stuff. We'll have a look at over at the biogas plant. Have a look here. See what we think to it. You've got the normal for your bio. For your, I, expect, I expect you can sell bio. So you can on most of the maps. There. Um, you've got your uh, digestate point here. Um... You've got a couple of buildings here, I don't know if I... Yeah, they open up, kind of go. Cool. You've got a couple of buildings. They're nice buildings on this map, I must say. Um, I think you've got a cell point over here somewhere. There. 
That is your sell point. Here you've got two... Um, you've got two uh, chaff bunkers to make your silage. Nice open ones, open up both ends so you can just drive through. But I think here is... I'll have a look. Yeah, that's growers' grains. That's our only sell point. So, um... That one. So if we go down here, you have got the barn. You've got the barn and the horses. Well, what I like is you've got a nice... Um, you have lights on at night. You've got a nice uh, horse training and fitness area there. For your horses. I take it that's the paddock over here. This is where you buy your horses. Now we'll just buy three horses. This is where your actual feed for the horses goes. In that one, that drop. That's where the water goes. So that's a nice area. You've got, yes, got some stables there. These doors don't open, but I think this is the actual... We're just going to light this area up here, because I think that's where you might sell the bales. No, I couldn't make out what this area here was for. Because nothing come up there in that trigger point. Um, ah, this is where you sell your piles here. There's no trigger point, but a sign piles. But like I say, very well, nice detailed map. We'll take another look over. We'll take another look. So that's your horses. We've already visited the cows and the sheep. We're all on the one farm. What we own. Um, let's find the pigs. There's your wood cell point over there. And your, your bark. Just up the road from the shop is your pigs. This is your pigs. You've got your feeding troughs there. Uh, and your water one here. For the pigs. I didn't try it, but I take it you probably back up into the building here and... Use a, use a straw blower. But very nice. Got some barns now on here. Here's where you buy your chickens. Confirm. They just free range around. And then you've got your feeding point there for your chickens. That must be your slurry there. Your slurry. From the pigs. It must be the slurry. Um, this is your boy point at the side of the big building there. We'll just buy four of them, make sure it work. Yep, that's all working well, good. So that's your pigs. I think we've covered everything. The pigs, the horses, 
um, the sheep and the cows. What we'll do is we'll head back to the we'll head back to the farm to the farmhouse. And we'll just tab to attract the outside. We'll just have a look at the cows. Yep, he water trough is on the on the main paddock. So uh yep, that's all good. We'll just have a we'll have a quick look. We'll have a quick look from the air. Just to say, see a bit more of the farm. Got some lovely fields, nice sized fields, some nice uh, grass meadows. So that's going to be good if you like uh, making a lot of silage and bales. You've got a nice windmill there. Lovely looking map. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, first first new map review for console players. Uh, Growers Farm. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be nice to welcome for you to hit the be the sub button and the notification bell, so you know when I go live, when I do my live streams. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.